Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your weekly reading. Now, when I was shuffling the cards, I got a really, really um, exciting uh, image for you. So I see two people on a sled and it's, uh, it's pulled by Siberian Huskies. And I think there are six of them. And it's funny because last week there were six whirlpools, right? And then this time there are six um, Huskies pulling the sled. And uh, so there are two people on the sled. One is older. They both seem like boys, but you know, the, the, the imagery is not gender specific, okay? One is older and one is younger. One looks about 13, the other one looks about seven. And um, the, the older boy, the, well, the younger boy is so happy because he's being pulled, you know, really fast on this um, snowy road. There are a lot of trees, it's daytime, and it was just like, it's the first time he's been on a sled and he's just so happy and the older boy is like telling the dogs faster faster and he's looking at the younger boy's expression and he is so happy seeing the younger boy being so happy and it was just a really really beautiful image so i usually use the images to kind of like you know um as the the theme the overriding theme in this reading for you guys and what I feel, though, is it is a, a week where you are living for other people. You want to make things better for other people. You want to make them happy. And you will go out of your way to make sure that, you know, the people you love are taken care of, are enjoying themselves, and you are going out of your way to really accommodate other people. And that's really beautiful. That's that's just you know, it, it's it's very selfless. It's um, it's just amazing. So going back to the number six, okay. And um, oftentimes when we see the six of pentacles, and and I'm bringing that up because we have here six of cups, six of pentacles. But the six of pentacles is what really jumped out at me. The six of pentacles is good karma coming back home to roost. And uh, last week, I saw the whirlpools, which could be, you know, bad karma, releasing bad karma, releasing bad energy down into that whirlpool, down into that center of the earth. OK, so releasing all the things, the baggage, the emotional hang ups, um, all the things that you kind of want to just get rid of in your life. And so with this week, six of those, um, you know, Siberian Huskies pulling the sled, I feel like the energy is very much like this. Wanting to go out of your way to make the other person happy, wanting to make sure they are taken care of, wanting to make sure that, you know, not only are their physical basic needs are taken care of, but that they are really, they have all the tools so that they can really enjoy the, the, their time so that they're really, really happy. So I definitely feel as if there is a soulmate connection that you have uh, for this week, okay? You have somebody that you truly, you, you just love. And the fact that they are so, you know, the, the younger kid, it makes me feel as if you love this person's innocence, okay? There's something about this person where they are very pure. They don't have like a, a, a mean bone in their body. They're very like, um, what you see is pretty much what you get. They're innocent. They know how to enjoy life. And um, maybe they just have a really, really great smile as well. So I feel like you have somebody in your life like that and you just want to please them and you just want to do everything within your power to keep them smiling, to keep them happy, to keep them, you know, at least in that moment when they are with you to accommodate them and to make sure that everything that they if they decide to leave or, or, you know, for whatever reason, once you get off that sled, that they truly enjoy and remember that moment with you. So I, I definitely feel like you have somebody that you love to death and um, they exude a very strong innocence about them. Um, for some of you, I feel like this could be children, you know, wanting your children to just enjoy themselves, wanting them to really experience the, 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 the moment, 
wanting them, wanting to make them laugh, wanting to entertain them. I see some parents like with, with newborns, um, maybe like a toddler, tickling your toddler. And I see like people going on roller coasters or Ferris wheels or, you know, um, bumper car rides or one of those virtual reality rides, those virtual rides with their children and having just a really grand time because you want your child to experience these things and um, you want to make their first experience very pleasurable and enjoyable so that they are exposed to, you know, um, just the, 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 so that they're exposed to positive experiences. And then I also feel for some of you, this is a love interest for sure. We have here the Two of Cups. So this is a soulmate connection, okay? And I felt that's what it felt like with the two people on the sled, regardless of their genders, regardless of their age. It felt to me like a soulmate connection because when it's a soulmate connection, you love the other person. You love the other person. You see the best in them. And no matter what, even if you're upset with them, you don't stay mad for very long. You just love the other person. And this is really a card about, you know, compatibility, having the same values, having a foundation of trust and friendship. Um, and that's what builds, that, that's what's um, really laying the groundwork for a really successful relationship. And I also feel with this card, it's like, no matter what, I will always care about you, even if we're not lovers, even if we're, you know, even if if the love aspect of the relationship disintegrates, I will still care about you. And I feel like you know, likewise, that the other person feels the same way. And there's a deep rooted sense of trust here, trusting that the other person is faithful, trusting that the other person is truthful, trusting that the other person will be there. If they say they're going to do something, they're going to do it. And if you tell them you're going to do something, they know that you're going to, you know, keep your word. So at the root of this is this really beautiful um, union between two people that is, you know, that that cannot be broken with distance, with time, with um, outside interference. OK, this is just very, very simply um, it's requited and it's also it's also very pure, okay? No pretenses, no strings attached, learning to love unconditionally. And uh, what I feel coming into the picture here is <clears throat> I feel like somebody is getting ready to go, okay? This is indicative of like movement, uh, exploring new lands, exploring new territories, wanting to do something different so for some of you, you might be dealing with this sign. This is a more fiery energy. Um, but this is somebody who is a world traveler. And this is somebody who is, um, they, they get very restless. And you might be dealing with this energy. So I'm not going to mention the sign, more like the characteristics. They get very, very restless when uh, they're stuck in one place. They get very restless when someone restricts their movement. And they can tend to get very restless in relationships as well. So basically, it's, um, it's hard for them to sit still. And as much as they might want and pr to pursue a relationship, they're still a little bit hesitant. They're still, you know, they're, they're, they, they still feel as if, they're not equipped for a regular relationship. And I feel like, you know, in the upright position, this is somebody who's going to be very honest with you. And I also feel there is an element here, once again, uh, different cultures, different ethnicities, people coming together from different backgrounds. And um, it, it just feels to me like finding your match, no matter what race they are, no matter what religious, um, you know, prescription they are, no matter how old they are. So I, I definitely feel differences that makes the, the relationship work, okay? Like, against all odds, the relationship works. And what I feel is you have been waiting for this for such a long time. It's almost like you have given up. And what I feel is, um, so there's a sense of waiting, you know, waiting, waiting around for the harvest, waiting for the right things to come into your life, waiting for the right opportunity. And when it's in the reverse, it's almost like having to give up on it, feeling almost like 
you know, I was deluding myself. This is never going to happen. What was I thinking? And then when you're at a point where you've just given up hope and you focus on other things in your life, for example, your career, you know, the chariot is all about earthly success and movement forward and disciplining yourself so that you could achieve. So it's a card about victory. And you were moving ahead with your life. You were focusing on your finances. You were focusing on other things. And in the back of your mind, and I mentioned before, you Geminis, you guys are hopeless romantic. You were born constantly looking for your other half, okay? It's almost like twins being separated at birth and knowing you have this deep uh, gut-wrenching sense of knowing that there's another one like me out there. And I have to, you know, scavenge the earth in order to find that other half. Like you have this innate sense of wonder, of like knowing, of, of and truly believing that there is another one like me out there. And I have to, you know, no matter where I have to go, no matter how far and wide I have to search, and no matter how long it's going to take, I'm going to find that other half. And I feel almost like, you know, life catches up with us. And a lot of the times it, it can be very discouraging having to wait. Okay. It can feel, it can feel demoralizing. It can feel hopeless. It can feel a little bit depressing waiting for something that your soul knows exists somewhere out there. It can feel very difficult. It's like, your heart knows, your soul knows, your spirit knows, but everything in the physical world is telling you otherwise, okay? And it can be a, a major, it, like it can bring a lot of inner conflict when we're confronted with situations that we have this innate sense of knowing, but all the physical signs tells us no and we don't trust it and we don't even know what to trust and it can feel very very frustrating and um what i'm seeing here it's like dreaming for that unicorn and i mentioned this i believe the same card came out for aquarius and it's gone to the point where aquarius were like you know do unicorns even exist you dreamt you were dreaming up something and you know it exists out there and everybody was telling you no have this instead stop waiting around for that that doesn't that that is not practical or you know you're wasting your time or you're daydreaming or it's never going to happen or like that defies logic what are you thinking and as somebody who is an air sign you know as someone who is very logical very cerebral very scientific even I feel like you train your mind to believe certain things, but your heart always yearns for the surreal, for the magic. And honestly, as much as you try to suppress it, Gemini, you guys are hopeless romantic. And I, be, I do believe that deep down, you know, you could be like an astrophysicist. You could be like a, a chemist. I feel like deep down, you still believe that magic happens. You still might believe in fairies. You still might believe in trolls and, you know, um, even like tarot readings, for example. So I definitely feel like there's a part of you that you have tried to suppress, but you know it exists out there. And a lot of people have told you that, you know, this is not the right thing. This is not, you know, going to happen. And you know it exists out there. So no matter how much they try to dissuade you, you held on to your truth. You did not partake in this cup because it's mediocre. Drinking from this or accepting this cup means that you're settling. And so you were holding out for that other opportunity. And I feel like it was a very, very long process of waiting. And I also feel like there were people telling you, it's never gonna happen. And you might have tried, you know, you might have tried to defend your beliefs. And then over time, it got very tiring having to talk about what you believe and then having, you know, um, getting that, that attitude from other people where they question your beliefs or they might try to, you know, 
dissuade is one thing, but they might try to undermine your beliefs, telling you that you're silly or you're not very smart or, you know, no one in their right mind or no one who's intelligent would really believe in those things. So I feel like it got to the point where you stop telling people, where you stop wanting to explain to other people and where you kind of hide this part of yourself. And then, you know, life catches up. We go through the mundane motions of um, trying to get through the day, maintenance, self-maintenance, you know, having to go to work, having to, you know, do maintenance on the car, for example, having to um, stack up our, our wealth. And I feel as if there has been, you know, also a lot of fluctuations, I feel, in your financial status as well. And um, I don't know why that is coming up. But I almost feel like the fact that you believe in yourself, you know, despite all opposition, it really made you strive to do really, really well for yourself. Okay? It's almost like compensating, but I almost feel like you trust your gut, you trust your intuition, you were in the right place at the right time, landing the right jobs. Um, moving, shifting in between jobs at the opportune moment because you have this innate deep sense of knowing that hmm, there's some changes in the atmosphere. Maybe I should seek another job. And then you do that and then, you know, the company that you were in, they go bankrupt, for example. Or like, um, you're just like, I've already maxed out my skills. So maybe I should, you know, um, look start looking and then you start looking and you realize there is a you know perm, like a, a a higher position that you could easily slip into within your company so it's like your intuition was guiding you towards the right being at the right place at the right time and because you trust yourself in its totality even when people were telling you you're being silly or foolish you trusted your gut and your gut instincts help really to propel many of you into the spotlight and especially into, you know, uh, a really good career track. So I definitely feel there's a lot of movement happening for you guys. And I almost feel like we're closing out this year with a major win, with a major success, with you getting that confirmation from the universe that not only, you know, it, it could be even in a work situation where you're winning a position, you're winning a title, because what I have here is this is a, a salary increase, getting a bonus, getting a position, like a higher up position. Um, it's not like a new position because that would be like the ace of pentacles. This is more like new training opportunities to get into a vertical position. Okay. Um, and we also have the Empress and the Empress as well is dealing heavily with children pregnancy, expansion in the family unit, and even making agreements to take the relationship to the next level with another person, which could mean introducing children into the picture. So there's a huge fertility vibe here. Um, other aspects that I'm seeing coming into this spread is um, I have to go back to that soulmate connection. People told you, oh, you're being silly. It's never going to happen. It's never going to, ex it doesn't exist but you listen to your voice. And um, I definitely feel like, you know, you have an offer that's coming into the picture. This is somebody making you an offer, Gemini. Queen of Swords is you. It's coming in out in the reverse. It's almost like you've waited for this for so long and now it's finally happening and you don't trust it. And then we have an offer coming into the picture here. So this is the Page of Pentacles. This is a solid offer. Do you want to go to lunch? Do you want to go to dinner? Do you want to go on a date? Do you want to come see me? Can I come over? Something very, very solid, okay? And um, I usually think of this as like a thank you. You know, here's a token of my gratitude. Here's a token of my appreciation. And what I also have as well is I just feel like I just feel like, you know, the, the past seven months 
I just feel like the t- past seven months, um, there were periods of uh, self doubt. There were periods of boredom in your current work situation. Okay, and um, I I feel like this spread is really telling you that you might need to change location. You might need to change jobs. I feel like a lot of you need some new stimulation in your life. And then I'm also feeling as well. The self doubt is coming through between that. It's coming through as kind of like this inner conflict between what your mind knows and what your heart knows. So your mind and your heart need to be very much in alignment, okay? And right now, I feel like you are operating more from that、uh, heart space because, as the Queen of Swords in the reverse, it's almost like we need to be practical. However, what I do feel is you're definitely on the right track, trusting your intuition and trusting your heart, because with the Two of Cups, it's almost like the other person has your best interests at heart, and so you can stray, you can do whatever you want, but you're in good hands. You are well guarded. They see you as kind of like their other half. They see you as their family, and you, vice versa, see them as your family. And we don't hurt family. That's what it feels like to me. There's a really deep sense of love, and and trust in another person. And I feel like the breakthrough has to happen when the breakthrough can only happen. When you kind of let your guard down, you know, put the sword down, let your guard down, and truly allow the other person to make that love gesture towards you, and that's when two people will start to see how much, how identical they are, and especially will start to see, you know, how much they truly care about each other. So I feel like. This is such a beautiful energy that's coming through for you guys for this week.、Um, if you can let others in, if you can reach out to others, you are protected and you are in such good hands. Okay,、um, I feel like the the spread is screaming out. It's a yes. So if you're thinking, does so and so like me? Does so and so want a relationship with me? Does so and so、um, care about me? It's screaming out just a total yes. Um, on the last note, I, I definitely feel like for some of you,、um, you're contemplating a major career change as well. Contemplating, but not making the moves just yet. And I feel like it's a big, big, big move. Okay, it's a big step up. And you have the skills. You have the skills to be able to do it and do it successfully and do it like nobody else can do it. And it's going to come into the picture for you. I do feel like the March-April timeframe is when this opportunity might show itself. It's a there's a steep learning curve, but you're going to be fine. Okay, so Gemini's,、um, I do wish you the best, and、uh, I just love the energy in this reading. It's so playful.、Um, I hope you can harness this energy. I hope it resonates, and I wish you the very, very best. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in about a week. Okay, bye bye.